Good morning. Good morning. <coughs> Childhood is changing in my book. Not the basic child. Marie's going to have a wonderful grandchild soon, and I have three. But what we do in childhood, I think, has changed dramatically. Alan lives uh, in the same house with my 10-year-old grandson and, and the mother-in-law suite of whatever, the old uncle suite. <laughs> and he is constantly saying, oh, Alex, my 10-year-old grandson, he needs to be outside more. And then last Monday, I was supposed to pick up the 10-year-old at school and take him, and we were going to read together. Was I ever shocked because he says, oh, I'm in line behind the buses to pick him up. He says, oh, I think mother's over there over there in that van, and I go, no, she knows I'm picking him up. She didn't trust me to pick up this kid, or the kid to figure out how to get home. And I find this rather alarming, because when I was four years old, I went to kindergarten over a mile away from home. I walked there, I walked home, all by myself. In the summertime, Mother would say to us at four or five years old, there's the great outdoors, be home for supper. <laughs> be home for supper. You have to go in and make your own sandwich at lunch. We, we played jacks. We jumped rope. We played pickup baseball. We played Monopoly. We played Mr. Potato Head. We had to make up our lives. Alex, Alex at 10, this is, this is part of his agenda, okay? There is Cub Scouts. There is piano lessons. Japanese school on Saturday. Mathnasium on Sunday. Tennis, soccer, hiking club. I think I've left out something. <laughs> chess club. Chess club, oh yeah, yeah, chess clubs, thank you. Everything is structured. How, where, where is this time to figure out to do what Edwin and I used to do? We, we would crawl around, the, we would pour our coat in a pot on the floor and crawl around and pretend like we were cats and lick it up. <laughs> we, 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 I mean, I must have been five years old and I managed to get the money to go to the movies on Saturday. And, we didn't have money for popcorn. Five or six years old. But we knew popcorn. So we managed to open a can of corn. And we knew you put it on the stove and you heated it up and you put a lid on it. We figured out, hey, that doesn't work. <laughs> it did not pop. And somehow, to me, you figure out things on your own. You don't have the coach telling you how to play for everything. Anyway, I have personally have an opinion about this, as you may be able to tell, that I do think what kids are learning is, that maybe they're learning more. Also, Alex plays on the computer a lot. And the only screen I had was Captain Kangaroo and Looney Tunes, and it was very, very limited. Looney Tunes came on at four, and I can't remember Captain Kangaroo, but we didn't spend screen time, and instead, I, in my dysfunctional family, what did I do? I read! Hey, folks, I read. So guess what? I scored good on my SAT scores, because I knew all these weird words. Uh, but from books, you know, nobody taught me. I didn't have to have a tutor. I had to figure things out. And I think that gives you some self-confidence. <coughs> yeah, Alex did confront his chess coach a year ago and make him really mad because he's, the chess coach said, no, you play these patterns, you memorize these patterns. If you're part of this, this, you do this, and you move this, and you move this. And he looked at the coach.
coach nieces. I prefer to play intuitively. Well, it made the coach real mad. <laughs> Dad is paying $300 for him to belong to chess club. All, all these things cost money, too. You're going to find out. Even the sports. You don't just get an old baseball glove. You have to have the right cleat. You have to have this. You have to have that. And that also eliminates some of, some of the kids. If you don't have the money, I mean, I don't know what you do. You probably go home and read a book. <laughs> I just don't know. But I wonder, I have this question for all of you. Do you think the old-fashioned way is better? Or should it be like Alex, with a schedule like an executive? Yeah, he's going to be pretty good at these things, I assume. He's got all these instructors after him, but I don't know. So here's the joke. Who thinks it's better the old-fashioned way? Raise your hand.